Hello everybody, it's Evan Lazar reporting from Gillette Stadium for CLNS Media from day one of Patriots minicamp down here at Gillette Stadium. And in this video, we're going to break down three standouts from Pat's minicamp day one. If you're looking for a report on Mac Jones, that's already present right there on Patriots Press Pass for you, a whole video on how Mac Jones absolutely lit up the Patriots defense on day one with the starting offense. In this video, let's talk about some non-MAC standouts and let's start on the offensive line. Probably the biggest development for the Patriots here today, Isaiah Wynn reporting for the first time this spring to Gillette Stadium. He did not report for the voluntary portion of the offseason program, but he was out there today for day one, a mandatory minicamp playing right tackle. Yes, you heard me correctly, right tackle. Wynn has played predominantly at left tackle for four straight seasons for the Patriots since being drafted in 2018 in the first round. But out here today on Tuesday, it was Trent Brown, albeit in a limited capacity, taking reps at left tackle with the starting offensive line when Isaiah Wynn was playing right tackle next to Michael Onwenu at right guard. Now, Wynn has played almost exclusively left tackle throughout his entire career, even going back to his University of Georgia days, where he did play some at left guard, but mainly on the left side predominantly for the Bulldogs. He's played all but one game in his career at left tackle for the Patriots in the pros, and now repping at right tackle. Let's see if this continues. It's only day one of minicamp. We are in June and three months away from week one again the Miami Dolphins. So we'll be back out here for the next two days. We'll see if Wynn sticks at right tackle. We'll also see if he sticks at right tackle once we get into training camp in August. But Isaiah Wynn's back and he's playing on the right side. That's a pretty big development for the Patriots heading in to the 2022 season with a lot of turnover on the offensive line. Along with Isaiah Wynn, we saw in one play a perfect example as to why the Patriots traded for veteran wide receiver Devontae Parker. He released on a fade ball down the right sideline and went up above Jalen Mills to catch a high point fade for a big play from Mac Jones, posterizing the Patriots cornerback. That right there, that size, contested catchability on the perimeter is exactly why Devontae Parker is a New England Patriots. He's had a really good spring, really being able to make those plays down the field, but also running some crisp intermediate routes over the middle as well. Parker is just a professional X receiver. And for the Patriots, you hope that he can stay healthy and on the field because he will certainly bring a presence that this team has not had in a while, if he can. Along with Wynn and Parker on the offense, I do want to quickly shout out Trey Nixon. He had a really good day out here today, catching the highlight play of the day from Mac Jones on a post-corner route into tight coverage by Jonathan Jones and Devin McCourty over the top. Nixon has straight line speed, as we know. He's converting that into the slot with some quickness and shiftiness underneath the defense as well. It's an uphill battle. It's a crowded wide receiver room right now for Trey Nixon. But as the sixth receiver on the roster, I think it's possible that he makes this team kind of a dark horse candidate to make the 53-man roster. I think the Patriots have something with Trey Nixon. He's an NFL wide receiver. It's just a matter of where they can fit him onto the 53. I don't know if he'll make it to the practice squad if he has a big uh, a big preseason, excuse me, with Bailey Zappi potentially throwing him the football with that backup offense. Uh, I could see that happening and him lighting up some backup corners and getting some looks from other teams around the NFL. So there's your offensive standouts for the Patriots quickly on the defensive side of the ball as well. It's kind of hard to evaluate defense when you're not live tackling and the blockers up front for the offensive line aren't really blocking the defensive lineman rushing the passer and Mac Jones in a red non-contact jersey so we'll wait till training camp in the preseason to really start to sink our teeth into the front seven for the Patriots but when the Patriots defense first broke the huddle in seven on sevens it was Jalen Mills and Terrence Mitchell with Jonathan Jones in the slot at the cornerback position that seems to be holding throughout the spring Mills obviously an incumbent starter at the cornerback position but Terrence Mitchell right now I would call the early favorite to start on the opposite side of Jalen Mills and week one against the Dolphins. Long way to go though with all of this so we'll see what happens but those are your standouts for the Patriots right here at day one of Patriots minicamp at Gillette Stadium. Once again check out that Mac Jones video right here on Patriots Press Pass as well. I'm Evan Lazar for CLNS Media. Thanks for watching.